Communications Corporation Family and Friends reminds the citizens of Wilmington and Newcastle County, Delaware, that the month of August each year adds another year to Dr. Benjamin Twinby Brown's dedicated, committed services. With over 70 years as a contributor to black history, beginning at the age of eight in Daytona Beach, Florida, along with his education, he was one of the youngest African-American radio disc jockeys in Central Florida. His career led him to WDAS Radio in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and from there to WILM in Wilmington, Delaware. Some of his contribution as a community leader are as follows. The originator of Least Access TV, you now enjoy on Channel 28 TV. He organized the first two lap of Least Access Producers Association over 35 years ago to save live programming. The godfather of the annual turkey giveaway and holiday dinners for the seniors and the less fortunate. One of the founding members of the Indenominational Action Council of Delaware. The founder of the free hands-on video production workshops and served as the director of communications for Wilmington's first African-American mayor. For 30 years, he encouraged the need for educational public access TV channel, which exists on Comcast channel 965. In the summer of 2007, his youth employment workshops created and produced a documentary on the National August Quarterly Celebration. He conducted the largest voter educational and recreation campaign in the history of Newcastle County in which many were elected to political office. After over 50 years of broadcasting on radio and TV, Dr. Twinby Brown is now on the internet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at www.cccmediatv1.org. Just click on Community Update. Other contributions of Dr. Benjamin Twinby Brown are too numerous to mention in this communication. But more community achievements can be found on the internet in a testimonial magazine at www.acmppublishing.com slash cccmagazine. Or you can express your love and appreciation at Another Year of Service, care of Dr. Twinby Brown, Post Office Box 933, Wilmington, Delaware, 19899, or on Facebook, YouTube, or website at www.cccmediatv1.org. Communications Corporation has been contracted to provide special video camera and computer hand-on workshops to assist those in producing DVDs for the EDTV Education Public Channel 965 on Comcast Cable Network. Special workshop classes are held on Monday through Friday, 5 to 7.30 p.m. at the William Hicks Anderson Community Center, located at 501 North Madison Street, Wilmington, Delaware. Communications Corporation Ed TV hand-on video production workshops give special thanks to Newcastle County Executive Thomas P. Gordon for being the first financial partner in supporting the promotions and community day-to-day -day participations in the Education's Comcast Channel 965 TV. The hands-on workshops are designed to assure total access to all schools, organizations, centers, churches, and the general public with educational and social motivating activities making the positive outshine the negative which result in eliminating crime, violence, and other degradating attitudes and behaviors. Ed TV Channel 965 TV is a partnership 
between the City of Wilmington, Delaware and the Red Clay Consolidated School District. For further information on how you can participate in these free video workshops, call 302-287-4413. That's 302-287-4413. My name is Shaquille Vest of the Summer Youth Employment Video Production Workshop Team. We are happy under the direction of Dr. Benjamin Twinby Brown to join in the celebration and education of the 2007 August Quarterly Festival. The African Independent Church Movement began some years before the Big Quarterly Festival. In 1805, Peter Spencer, born into captivity, but who at that time had his freedom, led approximately 40 people out of the predominantly white Asbury Methodist Episcopal Church. Although Spencer's and the others started separate church at that time, they remained connected to the white denomination under uncompromising guidelines. In 1813, Peter Spencer and William Anderson, another leader with Spencer, led a group of persons to leave that church to organize the Union Church of African Members in September 1813. The Big Quarterly is a commemoration and celebration of that religious exodus. Why is August Quarterly important? The festival during the years of slavery provided a rare platform for those Africans held captive to worship God with each other as well as with free men and women. This is one of the few social opportunities for African Americans, people who were separated from their relatives due to the humanity of slavery, held reunions, persons gathered to spend the day together. The festival provided a forum for free African Americans to discuss colonization and other issues of slavery. It also gave some people the opportunity to escape slavery. This was so prevalent that some whites became suspicious of the August Quarterly Festival and older people in the black community sometimes referred to the festival as big excursions on the Underground Railroad. The event commemorates the founding of African Union Methodism. Those who were affiliated with the Spencer churches are reminded of the bitter struggles of Peter Spencer, William Anderson, and the 40 or so other blacks who struck a great blow for religious freedom. A year after Peter Spencer's death in 1843 and until today, the ceremony includes a reflank to remember the leader of all African Union churches. The festival kept alive the ecumenical spirit among African American church men and women of every variety of backgrounds. At one time, black churches in Wilmington and the surrounding communities of various denominations and backgrounds were closed down on Big Quarterly Sunday to join the festival. What is August Quarterly? The August Quarterly Festival, also called Big Quarterly, is an annual celebration to commemorate the founding of the Union Church of Africans, the first African American church independently incorporated in the United States. Simply put, it is a celebration of African American religious freedoms in the United States. The August Quarterly, which began in 1814, became a kind of Independence Day to black people on the Delmarva Peninsula. The Big Quarterly was celebrated in 1814 during the last week of August. Free and slave blacks came together with a union with their friends and family. Some stayed at the weekend off while their families were kept on the plantation to ensure their return. Abolition and the Grand Railroad conductors were offered in the Wilmington area to assist slaves to choose to escape. The quarterly was used to plan and shape information about the road to freedom. Come on, church, let's go now, the, the big quarterly over the year has been made a time of reunion, religious revival, and celebration of freedom for the people in and around Wilmington, Delaware. We hope you have been enlightened, inspired, encouraged, and educated on the American Independently Incorporated Church established by Reverend Peter Spencer in 1814. So join us in the traditionally August quarterly celebration the last Sunday in August.